All right, I've been patiently waiting. It's finally here. I feel so low. There it is, learning the cello as an adult. So I had the honor of writing an article for Strad Magazine. I've been a subscriber for years. I love this magazine. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna finally open this up and take a look. All right, so here we go. Here's the cover. Oh, there he is. All right, so there's little picture of me. <laughs> and let's skip to boom. There we go. So never too late to learn. I wrote a, about a 2,500 word article talking about my experience learning cello from scratch at age 25. As a through line kind of throughout this, I it's kind of looking back on my journey and what I've learned uh, the hard way. <laughs> and a big part of that was this concept of perfectionism we have as adults and how, in my opinion, I actually think perfectionism is uh, as much of a hindrance as it would be a help. I mean, I think I had kind of a, a different start than a lot of the adults I encounter. You know, they, they're very type A, they're very successful, and they want to do things right, right from the start. And that can actually become almost too much of a hurdle to overcome for many of them because it's like how can you do something perfectly the first time so you're kind of not they're not even ready to embrace true beginnerhood and i think that's where there's a, a lot of friction especially for us adult learners you know i have actually before cello i have a background in, in creative writing and i do think the best way to approach something like learning the cello is to think of as a writer like a, a system of drafts and I think when we're learning something new, you should think of it as probably like a rough draft. And you want to get as good a rough draft as possible so you don't have to toss the whole thing and start over again. But if you try to sit down and be like, okay, I'm just going to sit down here and make a final draft. It's so much pressure. It's, it's not conducive to learning or to, you know, experimentation, playing around, enjoying yourself. For me, actually, when I started cello, I just went crazy with it and I was just pushing as much as I could. I wasn't really super worried about technique. I wanted to do it correctly, but it was more about just trying, I, almost like karaoke, like if I dream it hard enough in my mind, I'll just like move my hands and it'll just sort of happen. <laughs> it, obviously this worked to a point and then there was a, a long period where I was basically rebuilding my technique constantly because I, you know, I was putting bad habits in as I was in a rush to play harder and more difficult pieces. But in the end, I think it actually was a, a great way to get started because it just, I didn't feel this embarrassment of being a beginner and also this need to do everything perfectly the first time. But you know, this whole thing kind of reminds me of it's, it's one of those earlier videos I did called My Dirty Little Secret where I talk about basically this, I had this red A on my chest I felt that meant adult learner and I was always trying to hide that when I would do gigs and make small talk with people on the gig or you know just anytime I was talking to anyone they were like when did you start learning and I just never wanted to be like oh you know three years ago. I felt like they were going to instantly judge kind of what I'm capable of, how good I could possibly be and it's just kind of funny to me that, you know, as recently as maybe five or 10 years ago, I would totally still try to play down the fact that I started at 25. Um, and now I'm just thrilled with how my career has ended up and that I, you know, have this YouTube channel and my blog and website and it's and I really focus on helping adult learners. So yeah, I actually did struggle uh, writing this a little bit and it was, something I want to share just because I think it really correlates with a lot of adult learners of the cello, which was this kind of imposter syndrome slash, you know, a little bit of shame, embarrassment, just discomfort with where you're currently at and what you're doing. I mean, 
I'm I'm very happy with my journey and how everything's happened. But I mean, here's you know, for example, on the cover here it says learning cello as an adult, and right next to it is Joshua Bell. And it's like, what am I doing next to Joshua Bell? The first attempts at writing it were very difficult for me because I was just, I just couldn't find a good voice for it. I felt like just, just on edge trying to write this and, and be like worthy of the strad, this article. It really has been a crazy journey. I mean, just, I started at 25, I got obsessed with classical music around age 23 and I was listening, but I just didn't understand anything like what the key of C is or any, when I'd read these articles. So I was like, okay, let me just try an instrument. At 25th birthday, I got a month of cello uh, lessons and a rental cello. And then within three weeks, I was completely hooked. And I still remember the first time with my first teacher I played the etude, the little etude I was supposed to play for that week, and she played the second cello part, and the hairs on my arm were just like standing on end. It was like the craziest moment. I, I think I'm, in certain ways I'm still almost like hunting for that feeling, that first initial feeling of complete awe, and it, it was so exhilarating, and also I was trying so hard not to just totally screw everything up because I was hearing her notes as well. It was totally overwhelming. Um, if I could give a final message to adult learners of the cello, um, please stick with it. It's, it's worth the struggle. I get so many messages in my inbox these days, uh, either like they started as a kid and let, let it go, or even started as an adult, but then felt discouraged and stopped and they're looking to get back into it. I mean, let's face it, the cello is a hard instrument to learn. I can attest to that. And, uh, you know, sometimes you hear like, oh, you know, it's just, you got to enjoy it. It's enjoy the experience. It's not always enjoyable. Um, I, I'm pretty open about sharing this all the time, but my journey has been, you know, peaks and a ton of valleys as well. <laughs> and um, it's really important to just keep going and try to push through the hard times because for every low there's going to be a high and then you feel that rush of success and fulfillment for you know kind of getting through that harder period. I, I just want this article to hopefully inspire you and let you know that you know if you stick with it great things can happen all right so i would highly encourage you to please pick up a copy of this month's strat it's the june 2022 issue um, you could also purchase a digital copy i'll have links below for both of those and they also did a kind of 20 minute podcast with me um, and that's out now there's a link below as well so if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week with something that's really going to help your knowledge of the fingerboard and your left hand see you then